The 320 family is equipped with two radio altimeters. Their function is to determine the height of the aircraft above the terrain and also permits to measure the vertical distance between the aircraft and the nearest obstacle. The time between the transmitted signal and the received signal reflected by the ground is proportional to the aircraft height. This time is converted in feet and corrected to correspond to the height between the ground and the bottom of the wheels. There are no radio altimeters controls in the cockpit. Both are automatically energized when the normal AC power is on. Radio altimeter data is supplied to several different users. The radio altimeter information is displayed on both PFDs only if below 2,500 feet AGL. Normally, the radio altimeter 1 height is displayed on the captain's PFD and the radio altimeter 2 height on the first officer's PFD. If either radio altimeter fails, both PFDs display the height from the remaining radio altimeter. When our A height is displayed, it appears in green, down to DH plus 100. If a radio altitude DH value has been entered on the MCDU performance approach page for precision approach, or down to 400, if no DH value has been entered or both FMGCs have failed. It turns to amber. Below DH plus 100, if a radio altitude DH value has been entered on the MCDU performance approach page, or below 100, if no is entered in place of a DH value, or below 400, if no DH has been entered or both FMGCs have failed. Note, the RA indication changes every 10 feet, down to 50 feet, then every 5 feet, down to 10 feet, then every foot. When it reaches the radio altitude, Entered on the MCDU performance approach page, the amber DH letters flash for 9 seconds. Then they stay steady above the radio height indication. Also, on the altitude scale, a red ribbon is displayed when the radio altimeter height is below 570 feet. It is driven by the radio altimeter signal and moves up as the radio altimeter height decreases. Also, on the altitude sphere, a white line represents the ground reference. The red ribbon and the white line move up with the altitude as the aircraft descends. When the aircraft has touched down, the white line is merged with the horizon, and the top of red ribbon is at the middle of the altitude window, as shown. The ECAM flight warning computer generates a synthetic voice for radio height announcement below 2,500 feet. Note, these announcements will be broadcast through the loudspeakers, even if they are termed off. Auto callout announcements are made at predetermined radio altimeter heights. When no DH or no MDA or no MDH has been entered in the MCDU performance approach page, they are, as shown, 2500, 2000, 1000, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Some of them may differ, depending on the version, refer to your documentation. In addition, when a DH or a MDA or a MDH has been entered as for example. DH is 100. Two new announcements will be broadcast. 
at dh or mda or mdh plus 100 100 above and at dh or mda or mdh minimum Regardless if DH MDA MDH has been entered or not, if in manual landing, and at 20 feet, or if in automatic landing, and at 10 feet, an additional announcement is triggered. Retard, retard. And repeated, as long as the thrust levers are not moved to idle. Retard, retard.